Well, here is a brand new Victoria 2 tutorial. It's been a while since I've done one, but this one is going to be quite interesting as instead of playing the game and showing you all how to do stuff in the game, I'm going to show you all how to make your own country in the game. And this is the first tutorial on modding. As my, this mo video is going to show you me making a country which will be used for my next playthrough now that I finished my um, Argentine Confederation Universalis playthrough. Now, in order to make a country and also edit files in Victoria 2, like make your own mods, you're going to need two programs. One, you're going to need a text editor, which the best option is Notepad++ right here, as a lot of programs I used, I've used Word, WordPad, Notepad, and I think something else for um, editing files, and a lot of them are like really, really slow when editing the game because there's so much stuff in them. Notepad++ is the best option to edit files. I've never had a problem with it. And, it, and then also, you're going to need a, a um, paint editor. A common one, I haven't tried this before, but one common one I've heard regularly used for making mods is paint.net, which I use for my BeamNG stuff. But I use Photoshop instead, which you're going to be seeing tonight. So anyways, we're going to make my country. So, in order to do it, because this is going to be a long video probably, I'm going to try something new I've never done before. As I'm going to make the folder, because normally what you have to do is you have to make a mod. Now, normally, I mean, if you want, you could make this country in the main files of Vicky 2 but it'll edit the, um, check some of the game. So if you want to play, like, multiplayer on vanilla, that won't work. So if you want it to be specifically separated from the game, you're going to need a mod file. And, of course, the country I'm going to play is Maryland, which is my state where I live in America. I'm, I've always wanted to do one as that, so the Maryland mod, you have to make a mod folder. And you have to name it. So this is the Maryland mod. And you're going to need a thing called <clears throat> copy and paste a dot mod file. This is the um file that's that um shows up when you load the game. So like for example, right? Well actually it'll probably be better if I um it'll probably be better if I um make the thing first. You each country needs this without the dot mod file, it won't load at all. So there you go, the Maryland mod. Kind of difficult to um do caps and all when your cap is the dom recorder for you all right so you then load up maryland mod now we've got to name it this is the name of the mod that shows up on the uploader which you'll see in a minute since it's gonna be maryland the maryland mod and then we just copy and paste it the pathway and the user directory is where the mod the this mod file tells the game where to be tells the game to look for for the mod stuff all right, so now that we made that, as we load up the upload, I mean, the, God damn it, the, um, God damn, I can't, the name won't come off the top of my head. But you need to load this up, where you load up the game and you pick the mods. As you see, right there, Maryland Mod. The game, without that dot .mod file, it will not load up at all on this list whatsoever. So you need the mod folder and the mod, I mean, the dot .mod file for it to load up. Now, of course, there's nothing there, so the game's just going to load up as vanilla, since there's nothing there. We need to add the files in order to make the new country. All right. So go to, to make a country. I'm going to copy America basically. So first off, you're going to go to countries. We're going to look for America. Here we go, USA. Right now, we're just going to copy it. All right. So you head back to mod. Maryland mod. Oh, wait. Fuck. We need. I screwed up a little bit. You need to get countries. I'll just copy it and then I'll just delete it afterwards. We need to first make a um countries folder. I'll just delete all the um stuff outside of USA since it's not need anything else is not needed. Let's see, go down to U. Come on, go down to U already. Let's see, U. Alright, there's USA. Delete everything else that's not needed and delete everything underneath USA. So this is the USA's country file. I'll probably explain more about it when we get to it. But first, we're going to rename it Maryland. All right, load it up. All right, so this stuff right here is the colors. This determines what color the country will be in-game. But I want Maryland to be black in order to be able to be easily seeable compared to America since it's going to be surrounded by America. And, of course, there's a lot of editing I'm going to have to do for the country since it's going to be America and there's a lot in my experience editing America in the UK 
it really screws up the game a lot. So you have to be much more careful when you edit like America, especially since I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to edit DC, which is America's capital since it's part of Maryland, I believe, in this game. And this also is the party page. This is determines the, um, the political parties. Now, it doesn't have their name or anything. It shows their start date, when they end, their ideology, and their economic, po I mean, their policies and all that. This is, like, very basic. You got to go with the other files in order to change them around. But if you want to add, like, their um, start date, end date, what ideology under policies, you can do it right here. Their dreadnought names, all their ship names right here. Just some minor stuff, not too much. Like, very basic things, all right? So now we got that. Now we go back to commons, and then we go for, yeah, this file. This is important, countries.txt. This file gives the tags for all the countries. Every country in the game has a tag, which is a free lettered word, all in caps, that gives the game the country like their ID. Without it, the game won't recognize the country at all. So you need to have that. So. Oh, yeah, we're going to need to make a comment, too. My mistake. I screwed up, too. So, go back. Where's Maryland mod? We're going to need to make a common folder. I mistake. Here we go. We're going to have to put countries in it. That was my screw-up. Forgive me for that. All right, there we go. So, now we load it up. So now we're going to have to go find, let's see if we can find North America. I don't think it actually matters what order, I mean, where you put it in. I don't think it needs, I don't think it's required to actually be where geographically the country you're making is, but I'd prefer to um, put it in its spot. Now we need to find a tag for it. So first we're going to copy it. The, um, I think that's, yeah, United States of Central America, the USCA. So now we need to find, we need to make sure the tag I'm going to use has not been used yet. So first we'll start with M-A-R. Okay, well that's, that's Denmark, my mistake. Let me search up match whole word only. Maybe that'll help. All right, looks like Mar, let me go back up just to make sure. All right, bar is not used, M-A-R. So we can't, I can use M-A-R. You have to make sure before you pick a tag that's not been used, otherwise it'll conflict and cause problems. So we'll put, put in MAR. And remember that country's file we just made earlier for Maryland? This is where it gets it from. So add Maryland in here. This is where it gets its first basic stuff. All right, save. Close you all out. Okay, now, next, as we go back to, I think, common. No, that's all, that's all done. Okay, um, next, you're going to need history. So you have to go into history, country, and this is where the um, countries get their, most of their information from. So we'll have to make a um, history and countries folder too. This is the first time too I'm actually making stuff. Usually I would copy and paste. I'm actually trying to make one for the first time ever. So history. This is important too for the country. And then you gotta make a country's folder. And then we're gonna paste it in. Now for this, I don't I don't know if this is actually required to be exactly like this. The first one is the tag of the country and then the name of the country. You, I would recommend though keep it like this. So we gotta put the country's tag in, Maryland's tag. And then we'll put in Maryland's name after the USA. Alright, there we go. Now we love. Now this is actually important. All this stuff right here. The capital is where the your um capital will be. This is um Washington D.C.'s tag. I mean province ID in the game. I I'm probably gonna keep it as such because Maryland's capital is Annapolis and it's closer to D.C. than it is to Baltimore in the game. Primary culture. This is the primary culture of the game. I'm probably gonna change this to make it Marylander, but I'm not gonna probably do that right now. And this is secondary culture. I mean, accepted culture, which is um, for America to begin in Dixie, Texan, the religion, Protestant. Probably gonna keep that. The government, democracy, which you could change right here. Plurality, which you can add. I'm probably gonna keep as such. The national value, which is liberty. Literacy. This affects. This causes the um country's literacy of the pops to be set. So this means it's 50% literacy at the beginning of the game. Although I think it's it's supposed to be lower. So I think it 
average it mean causes mean has other factors to it but usually this determines the entire country's net literacy and civilized yes this determines how much prestige you'll be so i'm going to set that to zero for right now these are political reforms which you which you can add i'm probably going to do some changes beforehand now here is the upper house support the ruling party the last election this is who is in charge of the upper house technology unlock one means it's unlocked zero means nothing unless it's added in inventions starring conscience and a whole bunch of other stuff different like decisions this is why like i said i would strongly recommend if you make your first country oh this one right here the ruling party oh no this is um this is the 1861 start so all this right here this is 1861 start this is irrelevant if you're not starting 1861 but like i said when you make your first country i would strongly recommend do not use america or the uk editor files causes a lot of hassle i'm sure we're gonna have a lot of hassles when i do this mod too so right now i'm gonna add all this stuff off screen though but i'm gonna keep it as such for right now yes yeah, save okay now all right now we'll head back to history all right now this one you're gonna need to you need to add the province and i'm just gonna copy it usa this determines the um the stuff about the um provinces which i'll get to in a minute but first we're gonna copy we're gonna copy usa since that's where maryland's gonna be located mod maryland mod history province oh my, no 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 cancel delete that was my mistake i forgot i gotta add the um province folder i think it has to have an s i'll check beforehand because you need to make sure it's spelled correctly we'll put in usa now we're going to need i'm probably not going to bother deleting them because it's too much work right now but these are all the tags for the country um the provinces their id and then the name from washington dc was 220 so we'll start into the 220s there we go baltimore hagerstown and washington i believe these are all the free provinces that maryland is based on in the game so we'll load them up all right so here we go is this is so disorganized so for the tags we'll close this out the owner of the tag right here means who owns the the province the controllers who owns it like for example if in a war say the uk invade dc again the owner would be usa but the controller at the time if they occupied dc would say the british basically like if you're occupying a country ad core means a country has a core on this the trade good is the is the um good that that province produces and their life rate and of course this determines if they have a fort a naval base um a factory as you see right here upgrade and of course this is 1861 stuff so if the games if you did the 1861 start it'll start with all this stuff too we're not doing any of this no forts or anything and we're just going to replace usa with maryland This is not the um, ideal way to do it. There's a more efficient way. I'm just going to do it like this way to show you how, how it works. You have to delete everything. You need to have owner. Well, you don't need to have an owner. If you delete all this, no one will own anything. It'll be like an uncolonized territory. But you need to have an owner of the province. You need to have a controller. And then you have to have a core. Well, you don't need a core, but it'll make it easier for you if you have a core on. You need to have a trade good and a life rate. No. All right. Save Baltimore. And then Hagerstown. God, this is so disorganized. Some, some provinces are like this. I don't know why, but it doesn't affect anything. It just looks bad. Right. Oh, I think you also need to have a, um, a unedited empty spot underneath Life Rain too. So make sure of that as well. Although I think Maryland and I mean, Hagerstown, Wa you know, Washington and Baltimore did not have that. Let me make sure. Hey, Baltimore, Washington. Okay, they all have them. All right. So now, the, now it's set where when I load up the game... Hagerstown, Washington, and Baltimore will be controlled by Maryland. But we're not done yet, though. We're not done. We still got a whole bunch of stuff to do still. So anyways, after you do that, you need to go go into localizations. And you need to copy one of these. It, sometimes it matters what you pick. Sometimes it doesn't. And some mods, it literally changes where you go. But the, the localization mod has, like, the um different, like, languages of, like, descriptions of countries has descriptions of like events and all that it has a whole bunch of stuff important to it now we go to no we got copy localization 
just to be safe because I had to stop filming and redo this part because I wasn't exactly sure what part I needed to copy. Because like I said, it literally changes each time. Alright, no, 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 not history, you just place it here, localization, and we'll go to text. Alright, here we go, let's see if there's USA already. Uh, it's not good. Going to go well. What about Japan? Oh, that's right. Sorry, they have the slur as their. There we go. All right. Well, let's copy Japan's thing, and then we're gonna go all the way to the bottom, and then we're gonna add it right under here. And we're gonna need one more thing too. Let's see, where's it at? Where's it at? Where uh, it's not here. Let me go look it up. Here, here we go. All right, just copy this. Because these are two different things. All right, so paste right here. Okay, so the first one, which I'm going to edit, this determines what the game will call the country. Without this, it'll call it by its um tag. So if I don't edit this, the game will still say Maryland will say Mar. So we'll edit that out. So this game, this part will tell the game if you're playing in English to call it Maryland. And these are other languages, which since it's, I'm not going to put this in other languages, since I'm not releasing this, you can just blank that out or keep it there if you want. Now this one too is objective. This will tell you, this will tell the game what to call both your pops that are in Maryland or your country and like any like descriptive like message comes up or anything. So like, for example, America, you would say American. Basically, so for this one, our descriptive objective for in Maryland is Marylander. There we go. Just edit all this out. You need to keep all those, uh, whatever they're called, right there. Don't delete any of them. You need to keep it exactly as such. All right, there we go. So now the country will be called Maryland in game as long as it's big enough to display it. And the pops, well, not the exact pops themselves since I'm going to be making it, but like the descriptive of the country will be called Marylander. All right. Now, we're not done though. Now the next thing. This is pretty important, but let me make sure. Yeah, I think that's it. Now the big thing left, and this is required or the game will crash. You need to make a flag for the country. Not only that, you need to make multiple flags too. So, GFX flags. It's overshot. So go back to Maryland. GFX, name the folder. Like short for graphics. All right, flags. Oh yeah, I need to check too. Because I almost forgot. Let's see, history. Okay, promises, I was correct. I almost forgot about checking that earlier. Uh, graphics, flags. So now we're going to copy America's flag. Yeah, each country in the game, in order for the game to load, each country has to not only have a flag, but has to have five flags. One for the default, one for communist, one for fascist, one for monarchy, and one for republic. The game requires all five of them. You don't need to ch make them different if you want. That's completely optional. You can, you can literally make the same flag across the board. So... But you need to have five flags of each. And they have to have that name too. So now let's go to mod. Maryland. Alright, paste you in. Now, we're going to have to load you up. This is where you need paint.net. But like I said, I use Photoshop. So get you up. Because these are TGA files. They're not simple paint things. that You can't usually edit these on paint. That's why you need paint.net, I believe, or Photoshop, which I use. And we're going to put Maryland's flag in which I already had loaded up. So here we go. You need to have it the size too, so I have to yank you down. And there we go. Maryland's flag's in. We'll save it. Not as a PSD, you idiot. Unfortunately, I don't think Photoshop has a P um, TGA option. I'm looking. Because it's been a while since I edited a country. I don't there we go. Here we go. Save as USA. Oh. All right, now we got to rename them though. We got to match the tag. So Mar, and I'm gonna copy it. Yeah, do for everything else. So 
you mar communists they have to have the name of the tag underscored and communist make sure it's all spelled correctly too there you go this one was a lot easier than normal for me to edit since i had to just paste them somewhere else to have copy paste on that same file all right there we go with all that done your country should be done and at least in terms of like showing up all right so here we go we're gonna load it up and see if it works Maryland mod and here we go all right now the game's loaded up so here we go and there she is Maryland in game as you see it says Maryland which which is why you need to add I mean add its stuff into the localization otherwise it was said Mar and there's the pops no industry points or anything like that, but here we go. Load it up to see how it works. We still need, I would still need to play it though, but I'm not gonna do it right now. As you see right here, yeah, look at this. See where it took a whole bunch of America's ships and made to Maryland. Yeah, like I said, do not edit America or British stuff. It screws up everything. If you're gonna edit, make a country your first try, try somewhere else. But you see, it has America's like current parties, pops. Afro-American Dixie being the um, primary ones. See Maryland's flag right there. Capitals DC, which of course, God, that's bad because that affects America's stuff later on in the game, like the Civil War, which requires DC, I think. So I think I'm going to have to edit America's stuff to prevent the Civil War from happening all that. Ugh, oh God, so much edit I'm going to have to do. Just, just feel bad for me. Feel very bad for me. 28 literacies. Hmm. It said 50%, so it has to be from somewhere, because usually that literally they said earlier in the game, that's like for like everyone across the board, so it has to be somewhere else, though, that affects it. Uh, oh, wait, there it is, see, like 50%, it were, it's most likely because those pops right there, like the slaves keep it down, and also since I don't have a primary culture yet, since there's no Yankee, looks like. Yep, no Yankee. <laughs> Some Greeks. <laughs> but yeah. There you go. That is how you make a country in Victoria 2. And this will be my next playthrough. A Maryland playthrough. But, like I said, I have to do a whole bunch of editing for it. So much editing for it. Before I can do that playthrough. So I hope you enjoy when that playthrough comes out. But it's going to be a while. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it helps you make your own country. But like I said, do not do America or the UK stuff. Do anywhere else for your first try. Because... America UK requires a shit ton of work like I'm going to have to do off screen later for it. So keep my keep that back in your head from, with my advice. So see you guys next time and hopefully this playthrough will come up very soon.